yes sir we are discussing about the POSC yesterday we did something okay just a recap <coughs> Yesterday we have seen some external process steps. External steps or external process steps both are same. Okay, external steps. Every external step required to be assigned to the internal process step. And one more thing, sir. Uh, yeah, today we have only a 45 minutes session. I need to connect uh, uh, one uh, meeting, okay? Status meeting at 10 a.m. India time, okay? This thing. Yeah, internal process step we have. And uh, these internal steps, what we did is in the storage process, in the storage process, sequentially arranged sequentially arranged okay say for example first unload then next put away <coughs> then <coughs> what we did is storage process we assign to our warehouse process type. We assign to warehouse process type, this storage process. Now we know the determination of warehouse process type, document type, item type, and process type determination control indicator. That is the certification question, sir. Please keep in mind. Okay. Document type, item type, and process type control, process type determination control indicator we use to determine the warehouse process type. Once the product is determined the warehouse process type, within that we have one storage process. Within the storage process, we have sequential steps. Okay. Once the product is came into the EWM during the inbound creation, the warehouse process type is determining with reference to document type and item types. Okay. And that is subject for the relevant multi-step movements. That is nothing but the process oriented storage control. Okay, that we have seen yesterday. And according to our setup within the POSC, we use the auto warehouse task once we complete any external process step. Auto warehouse task. That is also we have seen. And one more thing every external step should have one source and destination. For unloading, we use the door bin as a source. Door bin means we created one storage type with the role DF. Within that, we created one storage bin. That we assigned as a source in our new warehouse process type. Okay. For that destination is GR zone, we maintained within the PYC setup. The main and the bullet thing is Again, is the put away, no need to give any destinations. Why? We have strategies with us. The strategy determine the respective destination storage bin. No need to give. Say for example, 20,000 bins are there. We cannot upload these 20,000 bins within the, uh, this one, PYSC or whatever it may be. Okay? This thing. For, so, again, is the put away. Uh, the system is referring the put uh, against the put away step. The system is referring the put away strategies to determine the suitable bin. Okay, that is our concept. And yes, for the yesterday session, we do unload and put away. Now, say assume that I have two products with me. I have two products with me, and HU is mandatory. HU is mandatory. Once again, sir. HU mandatory for POSC. This one. Conditions apply. This thing. Two products are there. Packed together in a single handling unit. Okay. But... Product 1, APL mat 1 is going to one kind of storage type. APL 
mat 2 is going to st2 assume that this is the scenario but both came in a single hq here if we recap with follow on functions pack option we did it without any pos we did it without any pos now if it's a pos what should we do for that deconsolidation one process is there deconsolidation deconsolidation this one simple sir we raise one uh, order for bigbasket.com or any other uh, e-commerce site they supplied as fruits groceries in a single box what should we do or else fruits and uh, vegetables they have given us or else same fruits they have given us okay apples and grapes but we are using some plastic bowls to store the apples and uh, this one uh, grapes in different sections of our refrigerator but he supplied in a single box then what i can do first receive unload means from the door i collected that packet from e-commerce buy and keep in our dining table or some other table or whatever it may be okay first yeah first i, I will uh, tell you the scenario unloading get that one second please say assume that unload get the product at the door from that uh, big basket person keep in nearby to the door okay and close the door means he went outside means first step is completed from door to staging area nearby to the door area then i want to move that box to dining table another step within the dining table i opened that box and i filled in separate plastic containers keep in the freeze that dining table activity area is nothing but the deconsolidation now we are using the pos we require a specific area to do the deconsolidation we require a specific area to execute the deconsolidation that specific area is nothing but work center specific area is nothing but work center what is meant by work center work center also a storage type with role work center so yes for the deconsolidation step from gr staging area to work center i need to move my handling unit there i execute the deconsolidation means what is the source for deconsolidation station uh, step gr zone is the source destination deconsolidation work center that is nothing but storage type and within that we have one bin that is this one after deconsolidation again then what is the further step put away for the put away task final task final step what is the source deconsolidation work center destination respective storage bin see here in this process we have three steps that we are going to incorporating today deconsolidation i am going to create a new external steps this is very simple concept but very important also go to spro img scm extended warehouse management extended warehouse management cross processing settings warehouse task define process oriented storage control new entries a d C N I am using A P L D con. Now we can check 
what is the direction with reference to this deconsolidate spr is the internal process step for deconsolidation i am using it see here put away and internal movement deconsolidation means say here one big h u with me i want to uh, move my products internal steps into another oh, sorry one big h u is stored in one big section i want to move my handling unit to small section but this big h u is not fit on that to, in that small bins what i can do intermediately i can move my big h u to any work center there i segregate into small small hus then i keep in the small bins or small this one so deconsolidation is supporting for put away and internal movements please note this sir deconsolidation is supporting for put away and internal movements unload is supporting for only put away put away step is supporting for internal and put away steps okay this thing now come to storage process yesterday we have created one storage process go to our warehouse number asp1 with us what is the first step unload is there second step i am going with adcn third step put away Okay. One sec. Third step is put away. Unload, deconsolidation, put away. After deconsolidation, I require automatic warehouse tasks. Now, say for example, at which level you want to expect the put away tasks? Some open tasks will be generated. At which level? After unloading, or during the unloading only you want to get the final put away warehouse task for individual products if we see one hu is there within the two products are there the entire hu is moving to deconsolidation whatever it may be unloading and this thing parallelly the system will generate two individual put away warehouse tasks according to their put away strategies during unloading you want to generate those or else after deconsol or at the time of deconsolidation this one this field just i am clicking here we will see within the test case for better idea now we are discussing that work center is required to execute the deconsolidation we will see the visual diagrams how in warehouses that will there here sir this one or else just imagine like this they use uh, someone can use tables someone can use uh, someone can use like these tables or else uh, we will come this open area also for that or else this is also one of the example this is one of the example see here some tables they can use depends on their warehouse physical availability and the product size also okay product as uh, products are small they can go with this kind of tables we can say this is a work center this is a work center okay this one and this is also one work center we can see and this is also one work center we can say something they are doing okay this one like a tables or open place or whatever it may be they can use okay this thing now we require a work center to execute this work center is nothing but 
storage type go to master data storage type define storage type go to new entries AIPL storage type ADCN for meaningful I am giving AIPL decon AIPL decon come to storage type role E for the work center please note that here as of now we are used store standard staging area group doors now we are using work center okay this way. just minimum confirm put away put away rules always general we can use for this work centers confirm stack removal okay capacity check not support in the work center go to capacity check for no capacity check okay this thing for this now at least one bin is required to work with this storage type go to ls01 AIPL is our warehouse decon bin is bin under the storage type ADCN this I have created okay one storage type and bin also bin created okay this one that is the role work center now that is physical area but we need to tell the system one work center is there in the EWM system that is also one of the master data that is also one of the master data okay this thing go to SPR one second hold on please one second. yeah now say one storage type and bin is there that is the physical location and we want to tell the ewm system that we have one work center within the system work center is a separate master data within the ewm okay that we can create the work center go to spr master data work center come to here define work center and specify work center layout two are there first we can create the define work center go to here work center i require one work center aipl is my warehouse work center name also for my convenient adcn i am giving this is free text field decon W C work center here what is the external step you want to perform here within this work center what is the external step our external step is decon <coughs> then what is the say uh, say for example uh, one uh, some amruta villas one is there but that amruta villas is a title of that one amruta villas is a hotel assume that what is the physical address within the hotel what we are doing uh, having coffee or breakfast or uh, lunch or whatever it may be that is the activity that is external step okay then what is the physical location of that uh, hotel that is nothing but our storage type okay this thing got it sir any doubts here work center is a logical representation master data within the ewm in which what kind of external step we are going to perform we can maintain here and what is the physical within the ewm these things okay this thing now here inbound section outbound sections are there if we want to go with storage sections we can use or else leave it blank and here i am using one repack warehouse process type 3040 
I will show you where we can maintain that. And coming to that, work center layout is there. Standard work center layout I am using. DKMX. What is the use of work center layout? I will show you. Save it. Now, storage type is assigned for the work center and within this work center we are doing the external step. Now, assume that this work center storage type is having 10 bins, not only single bin. Which bin you are using for work center? That is also possible, right? That work center storage type is having more than one bin. What is your bin for the work center? That we need to maintain. Come to the easy access. Don't worry, sir. We are going to deal with work center for number of times, packing, VAS, and etc. etc. Even though if we have any doubts in the coming section, we are going to discuss VAS. That time we will get more and more idea about work centers. Go to master data. Work center. Define master data attributes. Come to here. ADCL our work center this bit assign this is the path define master data attributes now coming to the this one what uh, work center layout just I will open work center layout in work center layout what kind of the activities you are going to perform as part of the deconsolidation that we see in the system extended warehouse management master data work center specify work center layout this is warehouse specific aapl dk mx this one say here here this work center layout transaction type is there okay deconsolidation packing quality inspection and account packing inbound delivery execution VAS, and etc etc are there one of the transaction type is deconsolidation and this work center is divided into different different types tap pages in a scanner areas rf scanning detail areas and etc if we see here, create HU, repackage HU, enter difference, change HU, etc. are there. Keep aside this one. Now, to execute or access the work, uh, deconsolidation work center, the transaction code is DCONS, where it can be available. Extended warehouse management, execution, come to here, execution, DCONS, deconsolidation in goods receipt. Go to here. What is our work center? ADCN. Go to ADCN. Execute. See here. Create HU, repackage HU, differences, change HU, deconsolidate, assign this one, this one, etc. etc. All are there. This is the scanner area. Scanner area. Say for example, I don't want to change HU, I don't want to serial number, focus on stocks in my work center. Now, all these are there. Come back, see here, change HU. I removed, I removed, change HU, assign this one, this thing, and stock details from work center layout. Just refresh it no, come back and go inside again where is this change hu serial numbers and nothing is there okay the same in tomorrow if we access through the rf device what kind of functionalities you want to execute within that this work center layout influence see here change hu is not there now I am adding change HU. Save it. 
come back change h of is come okay this thing and i am adding assign serial numbers focus on tasks also yeah come back go inside all okay what are the options coming to detailed area once we have the handling units within that work center then only this can work please note that deconsolidate option is mandatory to work with the deconsolidation okay and different different areas will trigger after keeping some handling unit okay now i think i hope everyone is clear what is the use of work center layout here okay this thing. now work center is ready now external step is adcn with us we need to maintain source and destination for this adcn external steps go to spro setup img scm extended warehouse management extended warehouse management cross processing warehouse task define process for it storage control come to the second one go to warehouse number aipl this one this yesterday we have created that is fine now go to new entries aipl is my warehouse adcn is my external step source automatically adopting from the previous step destination is adcn storage type bin is decon bin now here from gr staging area to deconsolidation station we are generating one warehouse task warehouse task means it is with warehouse process type. i am using one 3060 warehouse process type. that is the standard one what is the uh, control parameters within that 3060 we can see go to define warehouse process type where under cross processing settings warehouse task define warehouse process type APL 3060 they have given some description put away hq moment if you come to here what is there see one sec this we don't require we are not using one sec sir i will create our own why we use this one copy it apl a i n t internal p t w y internal h u just yes just i use the activity warehouse process category and uh, this activity area control is one only three am creative internal movement for that i have given description as put away internal hq movement means from gr zone to t consolidation station now come to our this thing remove it a i n t i will use if you see here we are not using any source and destination but how the system can identify which one is source which one is destination for the deconsolidation deconsolidation step we have uh, 
this one right unloading within that unloading source is gr staging area so source is identified destination is this step is deconsolidation we have assigned here so no problem now save it now everything is done we can come from test case very simple sir daily we are going to discuss with uh, each and every step and again again work centers VL31 N Palette. Double one three eight zero. Go to extended warehouse management delivery processing inbound delivery. H is there. In more delivery created through PPF actions. Some errors are there. What is the errors? I know the error. What is this error? Anybody can guess, sir. Just recap the yesterday session. Errors. I can click on this. with this you can identify sir or else i will show you i will show you sir any guessing sir before going to that guess sir just guess whatever it may be right or wrong one is subjected to POSC and uh, another is not subjected to POSC. Yes, excellent. Like excellent, excellent. Yes, that is only that. See here, if we see AIBD is there. For this, AASP is there. But AASP only we have the POSC. So, for the second product master, it would require to maintain the process type determination control indicator yes sir go to already determined right what i can do go to here still it is there what we can do we delete a new one will create through ppf actions See here. Now I am creating warehouse task. Go 
from step is this one door bin to source is door bin destination is gr area only destination is gr area now create plus saving Three warehouse tasks were created. What are those? Go to monitor. Three warehouse tasks. One is H U level from door bin to GR staging against the step unload. Two waiting tasks are generated. Status B. What are those? Individual products put away bins. What are those? One is going for fast, another one is going for slow. Waiting tasks. Until unless we complete the deconsolidation process, this cannot be open. Just what I am doing, I am confirming it. Means I am keeping it deconsolidation. Uh, sorry, staging GR stays. One new warehouse task is created. Now, if we see source is changed to GR staging after confirming this. Now, the next step, what is the next step? Move to the deconsolidation. Confirm it. Confirm it. See here, decon, waiting warehouse. Now everything is in deconsolidation station 387. Yeah, due to uh, this, uh, sir, uh, I need to connect one. Uh,